Hi, my name is Al Delsi, and welcome to Octopi. For today's Navis feature evolution demo, we'll be discussing reefers and how Octopi provides tools to build, monitor, and inspect them. First, we'll discuss how we use our plugin and plugout feature to track the operating hours of our reefer containers for billing purposes. Next, we'll discuss how we perform monitoring on full operating reefers and track their temperature over time. Finally, we'll discuss how to perform pre-trip inspections and get out transactions. So we've brought the containers to the yard. And whether they are plugged in directly on the yard or on a chassis with a genset, let's see how we can use our plug-in and plug-out feature to keep track of operating hours. You can notice your reefer or yard areas by the snowflake icon. For this example, we'll be using the reefer yard. In the reefer yard, let's go ahead and choose a container that fits our needs. We are going to copy the container number. Then we are going to go to Yard, Reefer Plugin, and enter the container number in order to perform the plugin action. You will then get the message that the reefer was plugged in. You can also perform a plug out action by going to the same page, entering the temperature, and clicking plug out. You will also get the same message that the reefer was plugged out. You may also record a plugin that happened in the past. By clicking on the record past event, you can select the container and you may notice that we have a new calendar that allows you to select a date in the past as well as a time in the past. After making your selection, you can choose from plugin and plug out options. You may now check in the container page and notice the plugin and plug out movements. So our reefer is now plugged in. Let us show you how to perform routine monitoring over a predetermined interval of time set up in the organization settings and how to use the reefer index page to keep track of the reefer statuses. You can set the inspection intervals by going to the admin tab, organization, and going to the configuration settings. And under reefer monitoring frequency in hours, we can ask to perform a monitoring every five hours. You can then click on the cargo tab and click on reefers and you can notice a chart of the reefers over time and a color coded grid at the bottom. Let us now try to start a new reefer monitoring. If we click on new, we can actually go ahead and check the terminal that we want to work in the main terminal. And here we will see a list of all the reefers currently in the main terminal. We can then enter the ventilation, humidity, set point temperature, supply temperature, return temperature, mark it as defrosting, and save. Let's try to do this for one container. We are going to set the set point temperature at 25, and the supply temperature at 20, and the return temperature at 26. We are going to mark it as save, and there we go, it goes to the next container. Our next container is going to be a defrosting container and we can mark it as defrosting and save it. We can then go ahead and complete the list and mark the remaining containers. I've marked some as defrosting for our grid. We can now see that our containers are marked green and blue for the defrosting and so on. We can refer to our legend up top here that tells us what each color means for each container. Green is okay, yellow is overdue, red is a warning. We can also click on these legends to be able to filter and filter for the container status we are looking for. So we've kept track of the reefer temperatures over the past couple of days and the past couple of weeks. Now let's discuss how to perform pre-trip inspections and finally get out transactions. For pre-trip inspections, we go to yard reefer pre-trip inspection. We can now enter a container number, which is preferably an empty container. We will mark it as failed for now, and it will create a damage on the container. We will be able to see that damage when we go on the container page. On the container page, if we scroll down, we will see that a damage has been created for the container and it will need to be repaired. At a later date, we can perform another inspection and now mark it as OK. And after we mark it as OK, we save. 
And we can then now return to the container page and see that the damage has been repaired. It is now marked as green, which means that everything is okay. A truck has come in to pick up a container from our yard. Let's get the container and let's go ahead and create a truck visit by going to gate, truck gate in. We are going to put a truck license, a truck driver. We're going to say container pickup, full, and let's look for a reefer. When we create the truck visit, we are now going to see that when we are going to complete the interchange, there is a section at the bottom reserved for reefer information. And we can actually make it as operational reefer or not and complete the form as needed. Thank you for watching the feature evolution demo and we'll see you next time.